Hello Java Masters, my name is Sean and welcome to your very first Java tutorial. And uh, in this tutorial series I'll be showing you guys a bunch of cool stuff using Java, how to make programs so it looks good on your resume and it'll help you out in the future like in your job or whatever you're gonna do with Java. Okay, so let's get started. So, uh, before we go into all the fun stuff, we have to do all the boring stuff first, which is downloading Java and getting prepared, right? So, how do I tell whether I have Java on my computer or not? It's pretty easy. So, first thing we have to do is we have to go to Start Menu, and just in your search bar, just type in a CMD. And once you type in CMD, uh, just click the first one, and you'll see this command prompt here, right? We call this command prompt. And if you get to this screen, just type in J A V A C, Java C, and just hit enter. And if you hit enter, and if you get this screen here, that means you need to install a Java. We'll be using the uh, newest version of Java in this tutorial as of today. So uh, those of you who have older version of Java, I recommend you guys to reinstall Java to the uh, newest version. I mean it's not much different if you have a Java 8, older version of Java 8, but I recommend you getting the newer one. Okay, so well, let's get to downloading. So let's close out of the command prompt and let's go to your internet browser. And once you open up your internet browser, just type in Java JDK. Java JDK and hit enter. Java JDK stands for Java Development Kit. And it's that's what we need for uh, Java's to be installed on our computer. So. Uh, once you do that, you will see the first one, it says www.oracle.com and that's what we need to click, so just click that. And once you click that, you'll be brought into the screen here, right? And in this screen, if you look on top, there is, on the left side, it has Java platform, just say Java on the picture. On the right side, it has NetBean. And we want to install the first one because we're not going to use NetBeans. So uh, just click download for the first one. And once you do that, you'll be brought into this screen here, right? So uh, if you look down, you'll see the first one says Java SE Development Kit 8 uh, U45. That's the version name, I believe. And uh, if you look down here, we have to install one of these two. Uh, Java uh, installers and first we have to read these uh, the license I already read them so I recommend you guys reading them before you accept license right and you have to accept the license in order to download so <clears throat> once you read them just hit download and now you can click either one of these for window users if you have other stuff just download whatever the operating system you have but for the Windows users you have to type uh, you have to download either these two but how do I know which one to download the one of them says x86 and one of them says x64 what's the difference those are just for uh, your system type so some computers run on 64-bit and some computers run on uh, 30 32 or 36 I forgot what it was but we can check right <laughs> so uh, go ahead and hit your start menu and go back to your search bar and type in SYSTEM system and uh, if you look down here it will you will see something it says system and by the way these also work for Windows 8 so uh, you just have to go to search bar by going to the right corner and down thing. I'm, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, once you get to here, go look down on your system type. 
Some computers will have 64, some computers will have a 32 or 36 uh, bit, alright? So 64 bit users, you have to download the last one. And the, the other one that says 30 something, you will have to download the top one here. Okay? So because mine is 64 bit, I'll be downloading the last one. So let's hit that and start downloading and save file and uh, this might take a little while so I'll pause the video and I'll come back when it's done alright so it's done downloading it took me about five minutes and yes I do have really crappy internet but it's it's finished so that's good so once you've finished downloading uh, go ahead and double click whatever you got out of it and let's minimize this here and now it's uh, preparing to install and luckily uh, installing Java is very straightforward and it's very simple you don't have to do a lot of stuff so just hit next next for those two and um, yeah we have to wait for download Okay, so um, this time we have to pick our destination folder once you finish all that loading stuff there. And uh, try to download your Java file in default area. So it's under C and program files and Java, right? Yeah, try to save it into uh, default place because uh, we have to use them later. So hit next once you set it and just wait for it. Okay, so now the Java is installed on our computer. It took me about five minutes, so um, it should take a little bit less or about the same as me here when you guys download. So after you finish, just hit close and let's exit out of that thing there, okay? And once you download Java, you don't need this uh, executable file anymore, so you can just recycle it if you want to. But uh, next thing we have to do here is we have to check whether the Java has actually been installed correctly or not. So let's go to our start menu and uh, hit computer. Once you go to computer tab here you can access C drive. So let's double click into C drive and then go into your program files. Once you go into your program files you will see this folder called Java. So double click Java and notice there's these two folders here and that's what we need and we it's it's there so it must have downloaded correctly right <laughs> so once you get that done uh, we have to do one last thing we have to set them uh, into our path environment variable and uh, it's pretty complicated so follow me along here so uh, first thing we have to do is we have to go back to our system window so just type in system on your search bar or search menu and hit system once you hit system you'll see this screen here where you can tell you have a system type of 64 bit or it's 30 some bit right and once you get to here you have to hit this uh, on the left area it says advanced system settings right and that's what we need so click that and once you click that you will see this little window here and the one we need to click is this environment variables so go ahead and hit environment variables and go down to okay on the second system variable section go down to you until you find this thing called path or this variable called path and what we need to do is we have to um, put our Java path into this path here so um, I'll show you how to do this so go ahead and select the path and then hit edit once you hit edit you'll see a bunch of these stuff here right and don't hit anything if you did just cancel out and then hit edit again but what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the last section there 
okay you're gonna go ahead and click the last section there and <clears throat> hit semicolon semicolon is right next to the L sign right so uh, hit semicolon there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to where we found our JRE and JDK file the one we installed and go ahead and go back into that folder there and first let's go into our JDK once you go into JDK you have to go to BIN folder called bin once you go into your bin folder uh, we would need to down uh, we would need to copy the address of this folder here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this address bar and once you hit that empty area there you will be able to highlight the address of JDK file right so go ahead and right click and copy and go back to our path area and type in that path and once you're done go ahead and hit semicolon again but this time we are going to copy uh, JRE folders bin okay so go back twice and then this time go into your JRE same go into your bin folder and hit that empty area there and copy and paste on your path area and once you're done hit OK and uh, hit OK again and hit OK again and you can exit out of all these stuff here and we're done okay so how do we know whether we did all these things correctly we have to go to our command prompt again and just type in Java C so now I type in Java C and now I get all these uh, stuff here so yes that's how you install Java on your computer from next tutorials we'll be doing some more fun stuff and we will get to programming pretty soon and it will be very fun so I hope you guys enjoyed my video if you guys have any questions please leave questions on the comment below and I'll see you guys next time thanks